Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This time I want to make a bowl and I want to use the scallop tray mode from Modes and Shapes. And I thought I just use some of the blonde power. I think it's called power. It's a shell from Laura's Art Corner. And I'm using two glitters as well, which I mixed in there. One is the Margareta Ville chunky glitter, and the other one is the rose, no, the golden rose um, holographic glitter. So I mixed this together to a big paste, and I'm just pouring this on the bottom side of my tray mold. I want to use the same technique like I did um, with the challenge I had with Sandra Rettich and with Marion Richter. That was my previous video. So I thought, you know, just see what comes out when I use a bigger mold and yeah, what effect can I achieve? And I thought it's perfect also for the scallop mold. So I'm using here the tray mold. So this is my glitter mixed. I only need or uh, placed. I only need to sort a little bit my mess, which I've done, and then I can start pouring. Yeah, I am using here the painter's tape just to get rid of what was there. <laughs> So this is my resin ink I mix into a cup and I added some, um, I think it were two drops of the espresso resin ink from Octopus in there. And I mixed it, well, I thought I mixed it very well, but it had um, yeah, shades of, of um, brown in there. You see it later. And I also mixed some of the psycho gold in my white because I thought you know it's nice to have a golden sheen when you just move the bow so I hope it just doesn't take over but we will see so there you see that my espresso color was not proper mixed but on the other hand I thought it's a scallop and a scallop is not always perfect so yeah, that's what I've done. So I just make sure that I let my, my I call it like, like um, brown shade. It's not brown, it's beige shade to the edges. And I'm using all what's in left in the cup. And I'm just waiting till the resin really flows to the sides. So my mold is completely covered with this mix. Now I'm giving my piece a quick torch. And now I'm taking my espresso color, which I mixed into my resin. By the way, the resin I'm using is the Art Pro resin from the Resin Pro Company. It's a medium viscosity resin with a rather long working time. So, and you see that I'm just pouring on top of my, I call it cream color, my brown espresso color. And then I had a second color. And this is um, like a pink shade. It's more a darker pink. And I'm pouring this on top of my brown. So I was not sure if this color combination will turn out pretty. So, but I, I just thought, go for it. Go for nice um, shades, which are, yeah, more soft and not too cool, just for the scallop. So this is what I've done. And now I'm taking some clear resin and I'm pouring this on top of everything, just in the middle where I put the other colors. Just push out a little bit and so that my resin piece can really work 
because clear resin always gives very nice effects also. And now I'm taking what's left over from my glitter and shell mix and I'm just giving it into the center. Yeah, there's not much left anymore, but I also didn't want to t that it's taking over too much. So I just wanted a little bit. Later on, I thought it would have been nice if I would have had a little um, pearl. So it would look like, um, yeah, a pearl inside the scallop. But unfortunately, I don't have a pearl. So yeah, I'm using the glitter mix. So this is basically my pour done. I'm just going over with the torch again, making sure that all the bubbles are gone. Yeah, there fell something into my resin, just taking it out. And now I'm just letting the resin move. So, this is the next day. It's roughly, oh, how many hours? I think 15 hours later. It was a little bit too early, but on that day I needed to drive to Germany, so I would only come back in the evening. And I wanted to make a bowl, so I needed to demold. Yeah, I'm sorry that I just take it um, to the side because my table is full and I needed to find a clear place for my for my mold. So, but look at that. I was so stunned seeing this. It's it's amazing how the resin re react and the striations. Um, it also looks a little bit, well, not like crushed ice, but yeah, the striations, they're really amazing. Now I'm just putting my tray into my bowl, making sure that it's well inside. And I, I noticed that I have a little bit wrinkles at the outer edges, but I didn't mind because it's a scallop. <laughs> so this is again one day, day later and I could demold. And look at this. I'm so, so happy with the result. I just wonder what you think about it, but I really love the effects and the depths and also my glitter and shell mix. And this is really the end product, so you see it. I hope you liked the video, I hope you liked the effect and I'm looking forward to see you with my next video. Thanks for watching guys, take care, bye bye.